What are you thinking about? I do what I do because of my dad. He was a hero. He gave his life for the pursuit of knowledge. Control, you're getting that over. It's crazy out there. There's fires everywhere and plane crashes. They're calling it a surge. Major, we have some highly classified information. What can you tell us about the Lima project? Its objective was to search for advanced extraterrestrial life. The ship disappeared approximately 16 years into the mission. And the commander was? He was my father, sir. This might come as quite a shock to you. Your father was experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. I worry about you. I love you. Please begin your psychological evaluation. As best you can, please describe your current mental and emotional state. I'm feeling good. Ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. I remain fully committed to the lawful completion of the mission. If necessary, I will destroy the project in its entirety. The Earth puts hopes in him. And now, it's fate. It's on me. We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Please be a five-star ride. Hey! Uber? Yeah, be cool, be nice. Hey, let me guess, you want me to drive you to all the Sarah Connors in the city? <laughs> Koreatown, now. Hold on, I'm gonna bang a Yui here real quick. Nope, don't got it. Step on it, please. Oh, didn't quite make it. Just, just a couple more points and we got it. Stu, what's going on? I've been taking this cop around. And we're on, like, cop missions. Where are you? I want you to come over. I really need you. <laughs> Three red roses. Girl is thirsty. <laughs> Get me closer! I got an idea! Oh! You got brass Don't balls. Don't talk about my balls! Where's me and you? Keep my balls out We're of here. We're a team, buddy. Operator, we need help. Someone's trying to murder us. Hello, operator, we need help. Someone's trying to murder us. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Take the shot, Stu. Just defeat him. Stu, take the shot. Tell me what you know. He was a complicated man. He liked blowjobs from the back. You know how hard that is? I do. What? What? Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Daryl Shelby. Maybe. Lee I. Coke, Ford Motor. Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. 
What in about speed? You need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. No, whatever it is, Shell, no. Trust me. You're gonna build a car to beat Ferrari with a Ford. Correct. <laughs> How long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? Ninety days. <laughs> this isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? Fucking try. We're lighter, we're faster. And that don't work, we're nastier. We're gonna make history. You ready? I was born ready, Mr. Shelby. Hit it. <laughs> we promised to be king of a united Romania. We must stand by our word. I was oppressor. Not just a few local libertarians. They are making a mockery of us with this conference. Gentlemen, no more of this. Gentlemen, please. Sunteți sigur că e bine să o trimiteți pe regină într-o misiune atât de importantă? My apologies, Your Majesty. De ce te-ai fi amestecând tu în așa ceva? You really are claiming the lion's share, aren't you, Your Majesty? Tu chiar ești în stare de orice. Acum când țara moare de foame, regina petrece la Paris? Well, it's not an entirely official visit. Dar trebuie să înțelegeți. Lumea se schimbă. And one more thing. I am Queen Victoria's granddaughter. Your Majesty! They don't quite know what they want. <laughs> and now, with all respect, you think you can change my mind. You've bound yourself to a completely foreign country. And you've given your very heart to it.